Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to look at how you can adapt your training for warm weather, whether that be summer or just going abroad. So the main focus is that it's going to be kind of running in the UK where we've got our normal kind of training patterns, but we've just got a lot hotter weather than normal. So the, the key balance is we need to decide how much we're going to find a balance between just sucking it up and how much we want to really kind of listen to our body and you know make adaptations in our training to to kind of work around the heat. So there is an element of we do need to get on with it. If we're going to be racing during the summer, we need to train during the summer and get used to it. But we do need to do so sensibly and safely really importantly. It's no good just trying to go out and blitz a session, ignoring the heat, and then wondering why it's going wrong when you're not hitting the paces or you're feeling really, really rough. Which is unfortunately what a lot of people tend to do. They tend to kind of ignore it until it becomes a problem. Uh, so we need to kind of preempt it. Now there's loads of ways we can do this. So we're going to focus first on, mostly, on how we can make these adaptations. So it depends on what you're trying to work towards. If in pre-marathon training you're working on your 10k pace to try and bring everything along and to essentially make your marathon pace feel more comfortable, which periodization of training is a great idea, then really I would say focus on hitting those speeds. So you're saying you're running your 10k pace. Here I would say work on that pace. What we're looking for is muscle contraction, so whether these forces we're trying to absorb, forces we're trying to produce, and that speed we're trying to reach. What it might mean though to do that is we need shorter repetitions, be kind of more flexible in our approach. So if we're looking to do, I don't know, six, 800 meter repetitions at 10K pace in an earlier part of our training, then what you might consider doing is doing two or three of those and then breaking up the rest of the session with maybe some 600 meter reps or some 400 meter repetitions. Still exposing your body to those forces for the correct amount of time overall across the session, but just for shorter stints. Then gradually as you acclimatize to the heat or as you get fitter, you can continue building those on. The other side part of it as well is that if we're working to work efforts rather than paces, so if you aren't as, as kind of pushed on this, if you've got some time, then don't worry about hitting the paces, work actually to our correct effort levels. Most of the time this is going to be the key thing, and if you're not doing speed work, if you're doing this for your longer runs, if you're doing this at marathon pace, half marathon pace, during the kind of latter months of summer into an autumn marathon, for instance, then absolutely work to the paces, everybody for your effort level, sorry, rather than the paces. The paces are going to be really hard to hit, and hopefully your winter marathon, your autumn marathon won't be as anywhere near as hot, so the appropriate effort level will get you there, will get you prepped in time. You probably have a few cooler weeks towards the end of training to really kind of get into the rhythm of hitting those actual paces and having done the good consistent work during training in the summertime you'll still have that fitness there ready to go uh, if you're not doing those either of those two things if you are looking just to make some general adaptations and obviously the first one is train at different times of day you can train in the morning or the evening uh, both have the advantages depending on what works for you and your uh, logistically with your work and family life and things like that as well but there are things we can do to make that work so we can have salt drinks. Uh, I mean, just drinking generally more is a really good idea anyway, especially if you're going out in the morning, taking some good carbohydrate drink with some salt in it as well is a really good idea. The carbs will work in your brain, change your neurochemistry, and basically allow you to perform to a higher level as well. That's always a good idea, but especially during the summertime. Evening time, again, similar sorts of things. M less about the carbohydrate because you've probably eaten, although it does depend when you go, so making sure you have got some carbohydrate in your fuel, in your meals and hours beforehand to help perform better, also getting some hydration, so whether it be a salt stick or some salt tabs or something, or even just some orange juice water and uh, a bit of salt in there as well, that can be a really good homemade energy drink. The other thing as well is different routes, so running in the shade, shortening those repetitions, even just doing some out and back, so some areas near me which are under the trees which aren't great for GPS, but in the summertime could be a real saviour, because you have to, I have to run during the middle of the day generally, so running some 400 meter, 800 meter repetitions in the shade, not ideal, uh, but it does allow you to kind of keep cool a bit more, which is really important. If you do have to go for longer reps, if you're doing your long ones, then just ease back. Like I mentioned, work to your effort level rather than your paces. That's the key thing, and, and say the fitness will be there. That said, like I said, right at the start, you do need to kind of suck it up to some degree. And I mean it in the nicest possible way, because we all go through it. None of us enjoy particularly running in the heat. Even if we try and do okay with it, we're not going to necessarily run as well, never going to run as well as we would do during cooler weather. So we do have to kind of find a balance of this, say, train for around it, work adaptations, but then we do need to get on with it. If you're getting on with it, what you can always do is build up at it really gradually. The first couple of weeks we have warm weather, do a couple of runs, just easy, just try and keep the same volume as normal and then number of miles or kilometers, but just run them at easier paces, gradually build into it, and then start to introduce one effort session. And then a couple of days later, or next week, then do two effort sessions, whatever you're doing in your normal routine. There are lots and lots of ways around it, but finding that balance that works for you, keep yourself safe, be really sensitive with your training, but still keep working hard. Don't just give in. Don't be disheartened by the heat. It will feel tougher. It should feel tougher. 
if you keep this going now, you'll feel so much better when it comes to your autumn races and those autumn marathons will be so, so much better because they keep it going.